Well, hi guys. Today I want to make a bowl. So I'm going to start with this large resin tray mold. And I've got my Let's Resin brand resin all mixed up here. I'm going to do some sapphire blue and some white in it. And I'm going to use some really pretty Christmassy kind of chunky glitter here. And I'm also going to use some silver flake. Oops, I got a piece in there. That stuff just goes everywhere. I try to get one out and get another one in. And I've got these crushed up glass pieces that I'm going to use around the edge. And I've got my little cups here to mix my colors in. And so the first thing I want to do is I just want to make a little layer of clear around the edge before I put my broken glass in. Because if I don't do clear around the edge, then the, the broken glass pieces will make pockets of air that'll show on the other side. Then I'm going to put my glass pieces in, and this works best if I don't have a glove on that hand. I have a lot more control with just my fingers. And I've got the shakes this morning, but that's okay. I'm just going to evenly distribute it all over the place. And nothing has to be perfect because this is going to do its own thing in the end. Okay, that looks like about enough. Just finish off this little edge here. All right. Now my clear is kind of all over the place there. So I just want to even that out a bit. Get that glass piece over there, back towards the edge. Just help it be more even around the edge for when I put my color layer down. So now I'm going to pour a little bit off into these smaller cups. And I'm going to put my glove back on because I don't want stained hands today. And I'm going to add my sapphire blue to this one. And I want it a really deep blue. So I'm not going by drops. I'm going by squirts. That was about four squirts. These little cups can be hard to hang on to. And it's a little cool in this room this morning. It's only about 67 degrees, which is not an ideal working temperature. But I warmed my resin really good first, so that'll help. And then I'll put the heater on as soon as we're done. Okay. So now I'm just going to kind of make a drizzle of this around, which is really hard to be even when I have the shakes, but that's okay. We don't have to be even because it's going to end up all cattywampus and crooked anyway. And when I have gotten them all even, it still does its own thing and turns out nothing like what I would have expected. So that's all right. Okay, then I'm going to jump to the middle. And this one I didn't fill as full because I want to put a lot of glitter in it. That's going to be part of my center. And don't pour over my mold because it'll end up everywhere I don't want it.
Then I finished filling the cup with the glitter. So that's a lot of glitter in there. I'm going to set it down. It is too hard to hang on to. And I just want to coat all the glitter really well with the resin. It's going to be thick, but that's okay. That is super thick. That's a little too thick. The last time I had it too thin, so. All right, so now I'm gonna put this right in the middle. Just, just a glob of it, not all of it. And kind of spread it into a circle because I'm going to put clear in the middle of it. Trying to make it look somewhat like a geode, but not going for perfection. I can't get perfection even when I try, so why try? I am not loving what it's doing over here on the left, so I'm going to add a little bit more clear over there and it's easier to pour out of this little cup so I'm going to go right at the edge of the blue to move the blue away from the glass layer hmm well that worked a little bit I'd like to see more blue over here. It's almost like I have a bubble in my mold, but it didn't look like it before I started. Yeah, it's doing some weird things. That's okay. Okay, now I'm gonna do Another layer of clear right in the center just to try to push this blue back. I don't want the blue to get into the glitter, but I think it's going to anyway. Okay, so now the whole thing is covered with a layer of resin, and now I can start working my colors around the way I want them, hopefully. It's so thick over here, the color layer, I'm just going to pull the rest of this color layer out a little bit to try to match it. It is definitely bubbled up there. I wonder if my resin was a touch too warm. All right, so now I have a whole bunch of this glittery stuff left in here, and I'm going to add it just around the edge on top of the glass. Hopefully I will have enough to go all the way around. And if I don't, I'll mix more. But I really like the effect of the glitter and the glass together. You know, I really like the crushed glass in here, but the the glitter on top of it just adds to it so much. It really gives it that depth. And you can see the blue is just already moving wherever it wants to go, blending with the clear.
Okay, I've only got a tiny bit left. Oh, I'm almost done. Good. That'll be perfect. A little bit more right there. Did I miss any spots? Uh, I think that's good. Okay. So now what do I want to do? Let's see. I think I want to mix up more blue. Not too much because this is just going to do a thin line right around the center glitter. My mold is getting kind of full, so I can't add too much more. And I mixed just about 300 milliliters for this mold. Okay, now I want to be a little more precise and try to do this right around the edge. Just like that. Perfect. Okay. I would like a little bit more of this blue in here. Just a dribble. Okay, that'll mix itself in. Just give it a minute. Okay, now that's gonna move and this is gonna blend. We just gotta give it a few minutes. And I'm gonna mix up a little bit of white. This is just a pure white, nothing fancy. And I want this to be a nice deep white. Look at how that just sank in there in a blob. Yeah, that's gonna be a nice pure white. Okay, before I actually pour my white, there's one more thing I want to do. I want to make a little center area here and pour just a little bit of clear in there. And that'll get that circle of blue moving as well. There we go. Moves the glitter out of the center and gives it more of that geode-like appearance. Okay, so now with the white, I'm gonna try to make a design, and a lot of people will use a, a like a decorating bag and tip for cake decorating for this, but I'm just gonna try to freehand it. And I'm gonna start right on this blue And that's it. Not too bad. Not perfect, but not too bad, but that's okay. <sighs> Am I done? No, I'm not done. I'm gonna do a little more with the white. Oh, well, I shouldn't have gone in quite so far there. But now I'm just going to grab this and I'm going to draw it out. Okay. 
Okay, now that might not seem like much, but that is really going to move itself. It might look kind of funny and kind of ugly right now, but it's going to do a lot. I'm also going to just do a smidge more clear right here. And then I think I'm going to do just a little bit of clear right around the edge to make sure all that glitter is covered. I probably should have done that before I did the white. That makes sure all the glass pieces are covered as well but I can pull the white back out. I'm liking that, but here again, I wanna do one more thing because, you know, I gotta keep messing with it till I ruin it, right? I want to do, I think I want to do just a little bit of the sapphire blue around the edges. Am I going to ruin it? Is it going to be good? I don't know. I wish I could ask you. I'm thinking. Nope, got to do a little bit of blue around the edge. There's room in the mold for it. Wish my hand had quit shaking. Okay, now I could come back and do blue right there or white, or I could call it done. I just don't know. Well, we won't know until we try it, right? Ugh. Do I? Don't I? I have just enough blue to do a teeny tiny circle in there. I'm going to do it. I can't help myself. I'm going to do it. Come on, pour. Don't drip. Pour. Come on. It says, no, no, there wasn't enough. Ugh. I hate that. Should have left it alone. And then just the tiniest dribble to make it move. And that will blend just like we see these blending. I think that's gonna be nice when it's done. Of course, there's no way to know for sure. I might hate it, but now the trick is to leave it alone before I totally ruin it. I'm just not sure about that middle circle. I never want these to be perfect anyway, because if they're perfect, then they're not geode-like, because geodes are not perfect. Part of their beauty is their imperfectness. But they also don't usually have harsh lines like that. But given time, it's going to blend. I mean, look at how all this is blending already.
Okay, so I think I'm just going to leave it like that. I will look for any air bubbles. Oop, I see a piece of glass sticking up. We can't have that. Any other glass pieces sticking up? Got a piece of, oh, and a fuzzy on there. Got a piece of glitter sticking up there. Let's get you down in there. All right, so I think I'm just gonna leave it and check back on it to see how much it is cured in a couple of hours until it's at that point where I can demold it and put it on my bowl. It has to be it has to be cured enough that I can handle it and get it out of the mold without it sticking to my gloves, but it still has to be pliable. So I will check back in a couple of hours and I will see you then. Well, I, I came down here just to check on my mold and it was just ready to loosen from the edges. So when I pulled the edges like this, it was just finally coming away from the resin. And I started pulling it all out of here and I got so excited I forgot to put it on camera. But I pulled it out of the mold and I just turned it over so I didn't handle what's going to be the top side. I took the whole thing like this, I turned it over onto my bowl, and my bowl I had sprayed with this uh, mold release, and then once I flipped it over there, I just started evening out the edges, and it's absolutely perfect because it was very, very moldable, but it's not drooping at all. And it's really amazing to me how the colors all blended and look totally, totally different than what they did when we last left off. It's been almost nine hours for the resin to cure to this point, but this is absolutely gorgeous. And now I'll let it sit and cure overnight. Oh, it actually is starting to drool just a little bit right here. It's really hard to see, but it's just starting to get some little creases in there. But I tried to leave it out from the bowl a little bit and just let it have a free roughly effect. And now I'm just gonna, I didn't even need to put a bowl over it, so that's fantastic. So now I'm just gonna let it sit here and do its own thing and it'll cure until morning and then we'll pop it off this bowl. So that's it for tonight and we'll pop it off there and see what it looks like in the morning. Well this is our bowl after it's been sitting all night and I think it turned out really really good. The edges of it are just beautiful. They drooped just the tiniest amount and they look really good. There's some great depth to that. So now comes the great part. We get to see if it'll pop off the bowl. I did use a mold release, but it's on Corel, so that doesn't mean a whole lot. And I don't want to damage the bowl trying to get it off. This is where it's just separated from the bowl a little bit already, so I'm just prying on that. Because if I just dig this sharp thing down in there, I will scratch the daylights out of the bowl. So I'm looking for any other little spot I can get this in there. And I can see it releasing from the bowl a little bit. 
but we need more. I know I could have laid saran wrap over this and it would have lifted off really easy. I just don't want the wrinkles from the saran wrap on the resin. The hand is cramping. I sure hope I'm not damaging the inside of the resin doing this, but it is releasing. Ah, there we go. That is beautiful. And it does not look like it damaged the resin at all. There's a little bit of mold release in there that I need to wash out. And it looked like it had a little air pocket right there. So it's not as perfectly smooth as I would like in there. But that is gorgeous. Give it a white background. Let me turn off this ring light so we can get rid of the reflection. There we go. Look at the color in that. That is absolutely gorgeous. It is not at all what I expected when I was laying the resins down. They blended a lot more than I wanted them to, but it is beautiful. I mean, when I was laying the resins down, I had expected it to turn out somewhat like a geode. This is nothing like a geode. But it does have layering in it. It's absolutely gorgeous, but it's funny how doing a project like that, you just never ever know what you're going to get. You can have a plan going in and still not get anything like what you expect. That's why half the time I don't even have a plan. I mean, I thought I knew what I was going to use in here and then I forgot to use the silver flake, but... I love these colors and I am very happy with this. So because the resin needs several days to fully cure, I'm going to go ahead and pop it back onto the bowl just to finish curing. I wouldn't want to uh, set it upright and then have it wilt. So I'm just going to leave it on the form and come back to it in a couple days on Christmas Eve and wrap it up. So that's it for today and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did please hit the like button and subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Bye bye for now. What is this called? This is not a platter not a coaster. Oh brother, what is this mold called? Oops! And they won't come out.